So good morning. Today we're going to have a look at some Photoshop buttons. Now, if you're using the program Muse, which is a wonderful program uh, made by Adobe, which is uh, perfect for making fancy new websites if you're a designer, you are going to need a Photoshop button. So we're going to focus today on creating that Photoshop button. I'm now in Photoshop. I'm going to create a new file. Command N will give you a new file. I'll make it 200 by 200 pixels, so it's a fairly large, robust button. Okay. Now I'm going to make a nice big red circle. I'm holding down the shift key. I have my circle tool selected. It doesn't really matter what this thing looks like. Move it right in the center of the frame here. I'm going to color it a fancy shade of red. And then just for fun, I'm going to make a little play button on there. So I'm going to use my edge tool, my selection edge tool. And if I hold down that shift key, you see how it kind of snaps into place and gives me a nice sharp line. And I'm going to make a nice play button right here. You can move it around using your cursor keys. Command U will lighten it up. Open this hue saturation panel. Here we go. So here's my button. Now, because everything has a drop shadow these days, we're going to add a little drop shadow. So we go to layer style, drop shadow, and let's, doesn't have to be terribly fabulous. Let's see here. That should be about right. Let's get it to normal style. There we are. All set. Maybe that's a bit too big. I don't want it to overwhelm the page. There we go. Okay. Now, we are going to create button states. And what a state is, is whenever you do something with your mouse, like roll over or click, that creates a state. So we're going to have two states for this button. The default state, which is the way a button looks when you're not doing anything to it. And we're going to have a state when you roll over it. And in Muse, they want to have it on two different layers. So we're going to drag this layer down to the copy, and we're going to make an overstate. Okay, so this is our default state, and then we're going to create an overstate. So what I like to do is I like to title these layers so I know exactly what's going on. Double click in that layer, and I'm going to call this up, which is programmer speak for the state your button has when you're not doing anything to it. So, up is a little easier. I'm going to double click here and call this over, which is going to be our mouse over state. So if I switch this guy off and I'm looking at my over state, uh, we're going to just lighten it up. Really boring, boring, simple, light up rollover, highlight rollover. There we go. So this is what the button looks normally, and this is what it looks like when I'm mousing over it. So, this is a PSD file. I'm going to save it as such, as a layered PSD file, right to the desktop. And then when we import it into Muse, we will have a dual layer to work with. And there we go. And we'll look at how to import it into Muse in our next segment.